<laughs> Hello, thanks for taking a few minutes of your day to spend time with Kai and myself. We'd like to introduce you to the fabrication technique for the dynamic vacuum system. So sit down and enjoy yourself and Kai and I will get started. And relax. So one of the simpler things about the DVS system is that it requires no special plaster uh, technique. You can design your socket in any style you're comfortable with. What's really important if you're using a total surface weight bearing approach is to do no reduction at the distal end. It's important that you will flatten the bottom of the cast to receive the lamination dummy and prepare it in the proper position. You want the lamination dummy to be in the longitudinal axis in both planes because it's going to receive the very center of the distal end of the DVS liner when the patient dons the socket system. Anchor the lamination dummy gently with a screw. At this point, take nylon stock and head and put it over the top of the positive model and the lamination dummy. And take a small thread and tie off the nylon stock and head underneath the lamination dummy and around the screw. Trim off all the excess nylon stockinette to expose the lamination dummy. Finish securing the lamination dummy to the positive model. Please take the silicone ring provided in the DVS kit and put it over the lamination dummy. This will create a nice seal for draping your plastic and make it easy to blow the check socket off the model. Now you need to prepare the DVS pump. Take plastic band and put it around circumferentially. And this will help create a seal with the thermoplastic check socket material. Then you will place a strip along the anterior and posterior axis. Place the PVS pump on the lamination dummy. Note that the orientation of the expulsion valve is on the medial aspect.
Take the lamination uh, dummy for the expulsion valve and screw it in place. Take more plastisil and cover the lamination dummy as well as the cap or hex screws. in order to thermoform the check socket using 12 millimeter thick thermal and stiff blister form as you normally would. Follow these next steps to remove the plastic check socket from the positive model. Cut through the plastic all the way around your trim lines. Grind the surface over the expulsion valve dummy exposing the slot. Remove the dummy and apply compressed air through the remaining hole. This will pop your check socket off your positive model. To prepare the distal end of the DVS socket to receive the components, grind the surface flat to expose the top of the hex or cap screws, then remove them. Next, you'll insert the snap bushings. Notice the ring. You'll apply a silicone bonding agent. The snap bushings are slightly conical, so the slight ring that you see on one end needs to be inserted first, like this. Then you need to apply the spacer plate and attach componentry so that the rest of the prosthesis can be assembled. In the event that you don't get a complete and perfect seal when you've thermal formed your thermal and stiff, you can place a bead of beta sill around the inside, around the DVS pump as shown. At this point, we're preparing the positive model for laminating the DVS socket, prepare a lamination bag as you normally would, and stretch it over the positive model. Tie the PVA, PVA bag off in the narrow portion of the lamination dummy using the thread as seen here. Using the scalpel, cut away any excess PVA bag just above the level of the thread. Place the silicone ring over the lamination dummy. Place on the DVS pump, same as you did during the thermoplastic check socket portion. Remember only to insert the lamination screw for the expulsion port after the pump is in place. In this way you'll avoid an air pocket being captured in the lamination.
place Plasticil over the thread on the lamination dummy as well as the hex and cap screws as you did in blister forming the thermoplastic check socket. Secure the seal distally by cutting away excess PVA and taping in place around your vacuum fixture. In preparing our plaster model for lamination, we'd like you to take a length of purlon stockinette slightly twice longer than the positive model, apply it to the model, twist and double it over so you end up with six layers of purlon stockinette. You can also use one layer of three millimeter thick Dacron felt. Tie this off around the DBS pump. Wrap around the expulsion valve lamination dummy and secure tightly. Now expose the end of the lamination dummy. Now you're ready to use your carbon layup and complete lamination of your DVS socket. Using the small tube of grease provided in the DVS pump box, apply some to the threads of the DVS pump housing as shown. In addition, apply grease to the two O-rings on the screw for the expulsion valve, being careful to get no grease on the duckbill valve, and insert tip in as shown. Next, screw this in place in the DVS housing tight enough to make a seal. To finish the assembly, Insert the piston cylinder Now take the fixation ring and tighten around the piston cylinder with the wrench provided Notice the piston is down in order to raise the piston to an acceptable place for donning, insert the liner, 